Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if Google Chrome is not responding on your Windows computer. So, this tutorial is not going to involve reinstalling the web browser, which I actually would recommend you do. Keep in mind, if you do reinstall the web browser and your browser is not synced up to your user profile, like if you have a Gmail account or something along those lines, it will not save the extensions and add-ons if you remove the browser and then reinstall it. But if you don't really care about that and maybe you just have one or two or no extensions whatsoever, then just consider doing that first. But if that's not really an option for you guys, I'm going to show you guys an alternative solution. So we're going to jump right into it and we're going to start by opening up the start menu. And you want to type in Chrome. Best man should hopefully say Google Chrome. You want to right click on it and then left click on open file location. So the highlighted area that should be come up that should come up on the screen after you've clicked on that should say Google Chrome and if your view shows type or at least file type it should say shortcut. You want to right click on it and then left click on properties at the bottom of this context menu. Now underneath target or at least in the target field you want to go all the way over to where it says chrome.exe and then that end quotation mark. You want to do a space so I know it's kind of hard to tell, but there's a space right now in between the blinking cursor and the end quotation mark. And you want to type in minus sign, no, minus sign, sandbox. So again, you want to do a space in between the end quotation mark where the chrome.exe is in this target field right here. So minus sign, no, minus sign, sandbox. So then you want to click on the apply button and you might get this thing saying you'll need to provide a ministry permission. Click continue and then click on OK. So now at this point I'd recommend if you have any Chrome icons down on the taskbar, I'd recommend you right click on them. Left click on unpin from taskbar. If you go back on the start menu and type in Chrome, I'd recommend now you'd right click on it again. Left click on pin to taskbar. So now we have our icon back down here. So I open it up. So there we go guys, our browser has opened back up and we should be good to go. So I do hope this brief video was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.